To understand Durval, you must first understand my father. He truly thought of himself as a sun god. His mind was broken. He believed that blood sacrifice would solve, well, everything. So he raided the other tribes for victims, especially the Asuran. Durval fought back. He crafted powerful weapons and rallied his people. My father responded with the ultimate cruelty. He captured Durval's wife and daughter and sacrificed them in the Sun Ring. So, why would Durval go to so much trouble to kidnap Ursa? He felt she betrayed him. She fought by his side until she realized he planned to raise Meridian and butcher its people. Then she came to me. Together, we stopped him and liberated the city from my father. Durval has spent every moment since trying to get revenge. Mostly on the other Asuram who fought with us. He made so many powerful enemies, I thought we'd seen the last of him. I was wrong. I'd like to ask you something about the Sundom and its politics. By all means. They call you a sun god who killed his own father in order to unite the tribes in harmony. Is any of it true? They say you can see the invisible, split an arrow at 50 paces, and tame machines at a glance. How much of that is true? It's not too far off. Well, I would like to unite the tribes in harmony, but you saw how many courtiers I have to deal with first. Maybe next week. Quite a place you've got here. You can almost see the little people below the mesa. You don't approve? Well, I have a secret for you. Neither do I. But we must be patient. Change won't come in a single sunrise. But will it happen at all, while men live in palaces? It might. Eventually. If people like you help me bring it about. Your politics seem... very complicated. The Asaram are friends, but enemies too? I couldn't have liberated Meridian without the help of Ursa and her Asaram freebooters. Many of them have settled here. But the Eldermen of the Asaram clans and the Claim have become jealous of their success. So have many Karja nobles. It's a volatile situation, especially given the fact that my father raided the Asaram for years. Ursa helps keep the peace, promising a future based on mutual gain. But some, like Durval, will never let go of their venom. What can you tell me about the Shadow Karja? What do they have to do with Ursa? They are remnants of my father's regime, holding out at the fortress of Sunfall to the west. Like him, they care only for domination, and seek to draw upon the power of the sun by spilling blood in its name. Since Ursa helped me take this city from them, they were perfect scapegoats. Durval knew this, of course, and planned it well. I need to get going. I know. Well, they say kings should never beg. But please, help me find Ursa. Who says that? Well, Murad, for one. Don't hesitate to ask him or Erend if you have further questions. So, I thought Ursa was dead, and I thought Durval was dead. Dead doesn't seem to mean what it used to. Or maybe I'm just an ass. Whatever. All I know is that it's time to find my sister and get some payback. I hope Murad's guy grabs us a lead. Did Ursa ever tell you anything about Durval? Well, we were both under his command for a while. <laughs> sort of. Helped him recruit an army to take out the Mad Sun King. But then he got real creepy with Ursa. Needless to say, she wasn't interested, but he wouldn't let it go. 
Not to mention the fact that we realized he wanted to murder every Karja, not just the bad ones. Long story short, he's a grazer-licking dungbag. Avad seems committed to finding your sister. Yeah, those two got along. And some people say they shacked up, but I, I don't buy it. Seems a little skinny for her. Oh, okay, some bad images are forming in my head. Let's just focus on finding her. And kicking Durval's ass. I'd better go. Don't stand me up in Pitchcliff, okay? Ursa needs us. Marad's agent should be at the marketplace by now. No sign of Marad's guy? He's had plenty of time to investigate. We'd better look for him. Damn right. Well, someone left here recently, and they were in a hurry. Has to be Murat's guy. Durval's thugs must have made him. Maybe because he found something. Look at this. I think he drew a map with his own blood. Right. Those kind of maps you know you better follow. That might be Pitchcliff. He marked a spot to the north. Could be Durval's location. My men are waiting outside of town. I'll grab them and meet you there.
machines. Looks like they've been chained up. Durval's a tinker. He probably experiments on them, or strips them for parts. Maybe I can use them to make some trouble. I'll go in first. Hold off until the fighting starts. All right. We've got your back.
Nerval says you gotta eat dirt. Let's do this. Ursa must be in there. We have to get through. They must use these to protect themselves from that awful sound. I'll try to break me. Shows what he knows. I, sh I should have been with you. Why didn't you come for me? I, I know I'm a useless trunk, but... No, idiot. I got a message from Durval saying he wanted to parlay. I didn't come for you because I knew it was a trap. I couldn't let you get hurt. Just didn't think it'd be that good a trap. Thought I could take him out. <laughs> Now listen, Duval's planning something big in Meridian. He said he'd force Avad to watch as the smoke darkens their precious sun. Your king needs you. No more playing around. You're gonna have to grow up fast. I, I will. I promise. You damn well better, little brother. Ursa. No, no. Please. <laughs> I won't let you down. I promise. Erend. I'm so sorry. We've got to find Durval. But Meridian's a big place. Oh. I'll look through his things. Maybe we can narrow it down. This machine's been picked apart with precision. What's Durval learned from all his tinkering? Do I even want to know? Such a strange device. It's beautifully crafted. What happens when I turn it on? Duval's records, maybe. Just words about crafting. And a letter tucked between the pages. Lots of blaze. Headed to Meridian. If we find it, I'll bet we find Durval too. I think I found something that can help. Let's head back to the palace. Go. I won't be long, but I need to tend to my sister.
Maker's End. Not much farther now. Roland said he found an image of a woman I resemble on an ancient device. If she's my mother, why would there be traces of her all the way out here? So far from Noraland. I don't get it. Who is she? Her name is Elizabeth Sobek. You! Spying through my focus again? Well, go on. What do you know about her? Stay on your present course, and before long, you'll know her as well as I do. Maybe better. But be wary. Baker's End is crawling with Eclipse troops. To help you deal with them, I've left some useful equipment just outside the ruins. Your focus will show the location. No! Who is he? How does he know these things? He's so big. Get it together, Lark! What kind of name is that? said it would be. Not a bad selection. I'll put those to use. Why are you doing this? Because I want you to succeed. Good hunting. We'll talk later. Wait! Watchers. Acting as guards. The Eclipse and corrupted machines. Cooperating. One happy family. Corruptor. That might prove a challenge.
time to get it moving. And be quick about it. No daydreaming. Soon this deep To be one of the Deathbringers Owen talked about. Mm -hmm. I'll never get into that tower unless I destroy that thing first. Thank you. 